Hey Dan, I've loved Alien since I was about six years old. Thought they were fascinating, thought they were brilliant, thought it was exciting. I always want to know, like everybody else, are we going to find alien life out there? It's a fascinating idea. It's one that captivates a lot of people. Everyone seems to think that we're going to find it. It's just a matter of time. A couple months ago, in April, there was a lot of news articles reported about chief NASA scientist Ellen Stofan. She's quoted as saying, I think we're going to have strong indications of life beyond Earth within a decade. And I think we're going to have definitive evidence within 20 or 30 years. And this was reported everywhere. I found articles on this from video game websites to my personal favorite was Latino Fox News. They had some great quotes stating, NASA scientists are now convinced that extraterrestrial life is a fact not a mere possibility, and says man will find conclusive signs of life far from the Earth by the year 2045. For scientists, the big question about whether alien life is no longer if it will be found, but when. It seems that everybody expects us to find this and expects us to find it sooner rather than later. But is that accurate? The truth is we don't know. The truth is there's really no data. So let me list all the facts we know about life in the universe. Fact one, there's life on Earth. Fact two, there's no fact two. Don't got a fact two, just fact one. There's life on Earth. That's all we know. That's all the data we have. Even more bothersome is we don't know how life arises. And until we can answer the question of where life comes from, we really can't make any reasonable guess as to where life is. Some people would argue that I'm misrepresenting the facts, that there's actually a lot more evidence out there than that. They'll point to organic molecules found on Mars or liquid water around some of the moons in the outer solar system. But is this evidence for life? I mean, yes, for life to exist, you would need those things. But you can have those things without life existing. Organic compounds does not imply the existence of life any more than finding a lump of iron ore implies the existence of a truck. Finding the raw resources does not mean we're going to find the finished product. Furthermore, the organic molecules that we are finding is typically methane. It's an extremely simple molecule. Finding it is, frankly, boring. Our belief when it comes to alien life existing in the greater universe is a matter of prejudice. We don't know anything about the variables. We have our one data point that says there's life on Earth, but we don't know if that life was easy to create or unfathomably difficult. We don't know if there's a mechanism that makes life fairly simple to put together or if in the greater universe, it's happened just once. Why do we hold on to beliefs like this so doggedly, especially when there's no data? NASA scientists aren't stupid. They're extremely intelligent people. Shouldn't we be able to trust NASA scientists about extraterrestrial life. Who better would know? Is it because they're simply outside their field? Is this really a question of biology or xenobiology? As a side note, I find it interesting that there's a word for xenobiology, considering we've never found any xenos. This ideology can still weasel its way into our scientific experts and break apart their scientific rigor. So who do we trust and how do we choose to trust them? At the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know if there's alien life out there or not. I am in no way saying that the universe is sterile. I'm simply saying that I don't know. I'm in no way saying that we shouldn't trust our experts. We definitely should. But we still need to realize that there are things that society places in our mind that we are so sure are true, and yet we don't have any data. So these are the just questions that I'm tackling. These are questions that I'm struggling with. How deeply do we trust our experts? How deeply do we turn to ourselves to figure out our beliefs? Where does the line change and where do we fit in there? I don't know. I don't know if you know. I don't know if anybody does know. I assume that it's a process of growth. I assume that we have to get better at this each day. It's an idea that we should all consider. Lastly, you need a challenge for your next writing gig. I want you to write about the superiority of bottle feeding over breastfeeding. And you have to make a Homestar Runner reference. But it can't be more than half a page long. It's been great, Dan. Can't wait to see what you got for me next week.